was in love and she knew that you were going to be the person that she marries tomorrow, Benton. We hadn't seen a picture of Benton yet. And she said, see how cute my future husband is? <laughs> this was like not even day number three yet. And she was already <laughs> saying this. And she knew and had faith in the Lord that he was going to send the perfect person into her life. And he did, Benton. Amen. We instantly knew by just the way that she was talking in these text messages that he was for sure going to be the one. And she was so excited. And it was just a different kind of energy. It was fun getting those calls when she when she would say, I'm so in love, or um, he's so amazing. And I was the last one to know that Meg was interested in Benton. <laughs> I am so proud that Benton is the man that now has authority over the woman that Mary and I have trained for years to submit and honor you. And you're the man that can serve and love her. For me, it did not take me too long to figure out that I was put on this earth to, to be a family man. I was the person who dreamed about being in love with my wife and having a family and raising that family. <laughs> and I, I use uh, the word dream very intentionally because for the longest time, that's exactly what it felt like to me. It was a dream. On June 20th, 2018, I met you and it hit me like a force from the heavens and I could see with a clear, crystal sharp 2020 vision what, what the rest of my life was going to be. I could see it all. I saw you walking down the aisle dressed in white with your piercing blue eyes staring back at me and it was all for the first time in my life it was, it was very clear. Meg, my love, you are going to cry. I'm doing so good until just a second ago. I've always had faith that God would bring someone like you into my life. With you, I feel home, loved, and cared for more than I ever have. I am so ready to wake up next to you tomorrow as husband and wife. Having you in my life is the greatest gift that God has given me here at Sir. I vow to serve you, lead you, love you, and to cherish you for the rest of my life. <laughs> I never imagined that I would find someone as perfect as him. Oh, what a beautiful bride. Benton will love it. I loved you. <laughs> Well, I certainly don't mind Benton taking in and assuming the role. <laughs> How are ya? You look good. You look amazing. Thanks. I love you so much. Oh, yeah, you. Want to see? Mm -hmm. What do you think? You like? You look beautiful. Maybe. You look beautiful. So do you. I, Meg, take thee, Benton. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. Amen, baby. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and health in sickness and health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death do us part till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance according to God's holy ordinance Benton you may receive and kiss your lovely bride It gives me great pleasure to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Benton Smith <laughs> 
When anyone meets Meg, they instantly know that she deserves the world. It's true. And Meg, I'm here to tell you that that's exactly what you're getting. Benton's gonna put you first and choose you every single day. Mary and I have watched Meg bring out the best in Benton. Meg is smart, she's kind, she's spiritual and a beautiful girl. And we are so happy and proud to welcome Meg and her family into our family. Boys marry girls like their mothers. And Benton has paid me the biggest compliment by marrying Meg. So thank you Benton for complimenting me and bringing Meg into our lives. You're the best guy that a brother could hope for his sister. Her heart's in as good a hands as it could possibly be with you. You know, I really appreciate that. Meg, you make Finton so incredibly happy, and it's clear how deeply you two care about each other. But I'm so glad that he found your heart to guard and has taken you as his wife. It was amazing. The first time I met you, it was very evident that you would be immediately welcomed into our family and a part of the family, and it wasn't going to be a space that wasn't going to be made for you. A space was already there, and you were filling that space. This guy's not putting on a show. He's for real. Immediately, I knew then that you were you were worth it for my sister. It's been such a wonderful week celebrating you and Benton and getting to know your precious family. Thank you for that. We love you and we wish you the very best. Father, we thank you for the gift of your son through whom we have eternal life. We thank you today for Benton and Meg, whom you have joined today as one flesh. May you continue to bless them so that their marriage will bring glory to you and to your son, amen. You are uh, the greatest person I've ever met, and I think most people at the table would probably say the same. You are sweet and sensitive. You're strong and sharp. You're honest and loyal. You love deeply and you love fiercely, and you're the most beautiful person I've ever laid eyes on. I promise for the rest of my life to love you, lead you, serve you, provide for you and cherish you as long as I live. And if I was thinking, I'd be thinking, thank God for my wife and for this miracle right here in my arms. But times like these, so sweet, so rare and so true, thinking is the last thing that you ought to do.